from now, and we we start at about four o'clock, and we go live at five. And you're welcome. To, anybody's welcome to come down and watch the show as a live studio guest. Okay. Um, and I'll come with a bunch of copies of this next time. I have permission from David Chandler to, uh, you know, distribute without making a profit. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. Um, but it's amazing how many sheeple are out there. There was this <laughs> idiot that. Uh, yeah. He's still there. Yeah. Um, yesterday, uh, there's a couple of vacant houses on my street, and there was a guy uh, uh, over there uh, checking out one of them. He was just, uh, he's like a subcontractor. Uh -huh. And uh, turns out he's a uh, former, uh, well, he's he lost his job just about like everybody in his field. He's a, he was a architectural engineer, and now he's making 12 bucks an hour working for this Jiffo outfit going out and, uh, <laughs> and uh, checking, doing the once a month uh, uh checks on these uh, all these vacant houses and he was telling me about the tons of vacant houses that he has oh, to man. do every day and it's, it's just amazing but the point is I tried telling him about 9-11 and uh, he just looks at me funny and, and he's like what you know and I'm kind of like well I said go to 9-11 um, or let's see I said I think I told him to go to what, what's the website for Ar uh, architects and engineers you know, I, you know I told him to go to ae911truth.org right. Uh, dot org, right yeah Okay, is it .org or com? .org. Okay, that's when I told them. Yeah, and by the and way, I, they're now a 501c3. They're a nonprofit group. Great. And I said, if you don't, if you don't believe 1,400 architects and engineers that are putting their jobs on the line, I said, go check out airline pilots uh, for 9-11 Truth, firefighters for 9-11 Truth, police officers for 9-11 Truth. And I said, try and find some of the videos of the... Uh, when they're interviewing the firefighters when they heard those explosions in oh. building number seven oh. that made them start scattering, you know? Yeah, and... Through the Freedom of Information Act, they just released a whole bunch of that. And it's funny how the NIST report that we just saw David Chandler talking about didn't include any of it. <laughs> well, thank you, caller. We've got another yeah, caller anyway, waiting. Keep up the good work, Bill. Take care. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you. And the next caller, you're on the line. Hey, Bill. It's Jan. Oh, howdy. How are you? Pretty I, good. I got a little fact. I don't know if you're aware of this, but... Um, I was watching C-SPAN yesterday, and they had a congressional hearing a, a panel about the constitutionality of the health care bill, uh -huh. and they introduced our attorney general, John Kroger, and <clears throat> part of his um, pedigree that qualified him included some kind of successful indictment of the Enron participants. Oh. And um, also placement on other important panels of legal experts, including his inclusion in the investigation of 911. Oh. I don't remember that in the voters' pamphlet. <laughs> now that you mention it, yeah. Uh, so <clears throat> I just think it's very interesting that our attorney general was part of the investigation. They didn't say if he was on the commission, but they did state he was part of the investigation of 911. So I just thought that was very interesting and brings it into our backyard. How do you like the David Chandler stuff that we're showing? I love it. I love it. There was a clip that I hadn't seen before that was really good. I, I, uh, I Last show, it. you mean? Um, no, not on your show. It, you, it's been showing the oh. past week. Okay. Clips of it. So it's been wonderful. It's right been on. Great. And, you know... I understand everybody has a way of um, doing things better, but I think everybody there is doing the best you can, and um, I never have trouble getting through, and I know what he means about the sheeple, but I think <laughs> people are going to come around. Yeah, brain-dead metal muffins. I know, I know. Well, That's that's Ace Hayes's, if you, if you remember. Yes, yes. Ace yes. Hayes, I played a little cut where he was talking about the uh, economy having the glide path of a brick, and that was in 1991. He was right. <laughs> yeah, he was a prophet, all right. So, well, you keep it up, Bill, <coughs> and I just, I didn't know if you knew that, but I voted for John Kroger, and I oh. intend to write him a letter and let him know I wrote I voted. So, And he also has the dubious honor of winning, I think, in 2008 um, by both Democratic and Republican majorities. Oh, I see. So, um, you know, he's, well, he's our legal guy. He's the, isn't he, at the Attorney General, isn't that like the main legal man yep. in Oregon? So. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, keep up the good work, and I will keep watching. Thanks a lot. Thank you.
Bye. And thank you. Bye. Um, yeah, the like I was saying about the David Chandler video, we have four replay dates right now. Plus, we checked the box so they can use it as filler, and they'll probably replay it several other times. And right now, we, we've got part of the 9-11 Film Festival going. It's still going. I still see the German. There's two German films with English subtitles about 9-11. And, oh, that brings me to another thing that I, I had a CG for it and everything. But it, it's, uh, they just took a poll in Germany. And 89.5% of the German population thinks that it was, you know, something other. They don't believe the official story. Okay, and that's a typical figure from you know around the world. In the United States, it's the only place where they they're keeping such a tight clamp on all of the news. Um, so anyway, the phone lines are open right now: five zero three two eight eight four 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 two. We have about seven minutes left. Um, if I don't get any calls very soon, we'll, we might just start playing that third cut. I think the third cut. We don't have enough time to play the whole thing. Maybe that's not a good idea. But uh, we're, we're getting a phone call now. I, I guess the thing that bothers me most is that we're seeing in, in this Egypt and Middle East unrest right now, we're seeing really poor reporting by all of our news agencies again. Um, and they're installing a CIA lackey, like I said earlier. Well, anyway, go ahead, caller. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. This is the uh, first time I've watched your program, and it's, it's really honest, awesome to see some refreshing truth coming through. Right on. Thanks. Well, we've actually done this since 2007, so this is the beginning of the fourth year of this show, doing it every two months. I mean, twice a month is what I mean. <laughs> twice a month? Yeah, it's uh, first and third Saturdays at 5 o'clock, live at 5, and we've had the same time slot for since the beginning. Wow. Well, I, I, I work at Osberg. Are you and, student? Uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 a public interest research group. Yeah. And uh, so I, I work with a lot of, you know, great politicos that are always, you know, reaching for this stuff. And I'll definitely turn them on to this program because I know quite a few individuals that would definitely like to watch this. Oh, right on. Well, you can also see this show uh, on the Internet on Blip TV. You know Blip dot Blip TV? I don't, I you, don't. You go, 9-11 was an inside job, all one big word, okay. dot, dot Blip dot TV. And, okay. And that'll give you the latest episode, plus... If you if you go to YouTube and then type in two five one omega, which was my CB handle if, when I was a CB or right. years ago, but nice. that, mine that, was that's, Cracker Jack. that's my email. And uh, no, my, my handle was Cracker Jack. Oh, Cracker Jack. Okay. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, if you go to YouTube and type in two five one omega, you get on my YouTube channel where all of the shows are posted. Awesome. So it, and it's you know I put it public. You can download them. You can. You know, whatever you want to do good, with them. Good, good. Sounds great. So I do have a question. Sure. So uh, I'm all for the theory of, uh, you know, uh, of explosives being used. I mean, it's, I think it fits the, the M.O. of our country and yada, yada, yada. Yeah. But, of course, I'm a skeptic like everyone else. <laughs> and uh, I just wonder, wouldn't there be any kind of, like, uh, residue from the explosives used? It would have been a high uh, You're you know, absolutely amount of explosives right. to take that down. And right, they found right. it. They did find it. And they found it, yes. And if you... Uh, there was a peer review paper, and the people in that are attacking it are saying, "Well, it's it's not in the right journal. It's not here and not there. Whatever. It's not by the right people. The people don't have the right quality. You know, blah blah blah." But look up Niels Herrett. He's a Danish uh, uh, PhD chemist, and he was one of, one of the people. Also, look up uh, thermetic material found in trade center dust or something like that, and you'll you'll definitely get to that link. Um, for the peer review paper, but the it's not just that paper because all of the evidence that shows that it was thermite or thermite, you know, the little round metallic uh, balls of uh, uh, iron spheres is what they're called. They're tiny, tiny things that are made by molten metal being sprayed into the atmosphere. And surface tension pulls it into a ball and it cools before it hits the ground, so it stays in spheres. That's a typical uh, trademark of or classic way to identify the eutectic reaction of thermite. 
and it's not something new. Thermite's been around for 100 years, so this is not new science. You don't have to believe some obscure scientist about it. Right. But it's, uh, you know, red-handed. They found, they say that when they project from the samples that they have, there must be tons and tons of it. They found unreacted nanothermate. Nanothermate is more explosive than RDX. It's more explosive than dynamite. It's more explosive than uh, any of the other commonly available explosives used wow. for building construction. And the funny thing is, the 9-11 commissioners acted like they didn't understand anything about nanothermite. But a man named... Uh, uh, not Scott Ritter, it's uh, Kevin Ryan. He was a UL scientist who blew the whistle on the steel investigation, but he did a paper that shows the connections of these 9-11 commissioners with the high-tech nanothermite in, in that, their own businesses. So That is definitely a, a something I would love to pursue and expose and get people really talking about, because that, I mean, understand the five-second, 5.4 seconds thing, it's you know, just <laughs> showing, showing that there's a lie in a commission right there is a smoking gun as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. But it'd be nice to really get that out there, that information. Hey, did you, you see know? last week's show? I didn't. Like I said, it's the first oh. one I've ever, I've ever tuned in. Oh, okay. Well, you got to watch it by going to the internet or something. But what what we showed were a couple cuts from David Chandler's video where we saw, pro you know, projectiles being blown out of the building. And they come out of the building and then change direction in midair. From an, uh, an external explosion you can see with your own eyes, another projectile comes out and blows into two pieces, and each of those blow into two more. And you see that. Wow. And that, the presence of that explosive puts the lie to the official story. And you can see that with your own eyes. And it's and I went back to other I videos. Gotta see it. I got to see this. You, yeah, and so do check it. It's 251 Omega on YouTube. or 251 Omega on YouTube? Yeah. We write that down, dear? Yeah. <laughs> We're now running the credits, but... Uh, <laughs> well, hey, it's just, uh, you will be hearing more from me, sir. Okay, and also go to AE911 Truth. That's the Architects and Engineers for 911 Truth AE website. AE911 Truth. Yeah, AE911Truth.org. AE911 Truth, I'll do that right now. Yeah, dot .org, and you'll find all the stuff I've been talking about there, too. All right. Excellent. Okay, folks. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, and we're right. just a few seconds from going out. 90... Or uh, what am I trying to say? The next one is the 19th of February. That's two weeks from now. Last time I was wrong, I said it was going to be on the 29th, and I forgot. We don't do the fifth Saturdays, just first and third Saturdays. So enjoy, folks, and I'll see you then. Oh, by the way, here's your uh, YouTube and blip information going by right now. And I'm gone.